Well, hello. We are leaving our house right now, going to Seoul to check out places. Eugene just set up an awesome document, kind of sort out all the places we can look at. And the goal of today is to find a place in between 300 and 400 thousand won, which means that the places will be really small. They won't be in the prime areas, but very cheap. We can save more money to go on travels. We have to catch the subway to Seoul. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes or so to get there. We'll see you in Seoul. When you see places in Korea, the real estate usually drives you there. We're just going to meet them at the station and the first realtor is going to show us two places, one in Bongcheon and one in uh, Seoul Vehicle near uh, Seoul University. No, mine's over there. Okay, so we just checked out three places in uh, Bongcheon and I think they're like all in, in Bung Chan, right? Those rooms were so small, so it, does, it didn't take a long time to see every room. So yeah, we saw the first room, which was near Bung Chan, and it was just way too small, I think. A lot smaller than we were expecting. You can touch both sides of the room with your hands easily. The second one was worse than that. Oh, the second one was just like this underground, like, grimy place. There so was a parking lot. Like right in front of the front door. People will be walking by the window a lot late at night. Also, there was a sign like for no urine. Oh, no urinating Urinate. right next to the window. So that one was also a no-no. The last one we saw wasn't too bad though. It was kind of like half underground. But I can smell the board a bit. Yeah, it's a newer place, but I don't think the guy who lives there right now takes Not really good care them. of it. Now, anyways, we're in a Guro Digital Tanjiyo. We're meeting someone at 2.30 now, just to see one more place around here. So we just checked out three more, and they're all pretty similar, to be honest, but the last one was definitely the best. It's like roasting today, so it's kind of hard to think of what we're doing. So far, Guro is way better than Hanako. The three places we just saw are very similar actually, but the biggest difference is the layout of the place. So the first two places had kind of small desks, and the third place had kind of a big table with a lot of places to store stuff kind of above and below. The first two places also didn't really have views, they were kind of looking out at other buildings, but the third place had a pretty nice view actually. But we didn't know that the extra fee, parking lot and extra person fee, so I think we need to compare Burogu to Mapogu. Originally our plan today was to look for about $300 or $400 mm -hmm. for the total. But we found out that if you have two people living in a small place, you have to add an extra 30,000 won. In Kanaku and Burogu. And also if you have a car, you have to add another 50,000 won. So that brings the total from 300,000 won to 450,000 won. And at that price point, we might be able to find something better in Mapogu, which is another area that's uh, it's north of the Han River. So he's kind of a scammer, so I don't think we're going to go through him. And there's definitely no rush. This guy's just trying to pressure us into renting the place as fast as possible. Where you guys have to make a deal in today. Oh, then you will get the cheaper price. But that doesn't true. Because we got to through <laughs> oh. this kind of situation before and we will make a video about it later. Yeah, we've been uh, scammed pretty hard in Korea, which will be a fun video to watch. Not a fun one for us to remember. <laughs> Let's go check it out.
감사합니다. 아. 네, 비싼 건데 제가 지금 30살 차이시니까 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 30살 They're a lot older than what we saw earlier, mm -hmm. but a lot wider, a lot bigger. bigger. There's been this thing today where everyone's been saying that there's an extra fee if you have more than one person. But the lady told us that she's never heard of something like that, right? And she seems a sincere. Oh, really honest. sincere. If anyone wants to find a place near Tatum and you have more money than us, we'll put the, uh -oh. the name of this place here. They're really sweet people, so definitely worth going to them because there's so many scammers uh, when it comes to real estate. Um, you cannot judge people by uh, how they look, oh. but you can read the vibe oh, like the sure. in the office. So I think you should be a little bit careful when you look for houses. Anyways, it's incredibly hot today. Oh. so. That's all the energy we have for today. Yeah, my brain is stopped. We're not finished yet, so we're gonna keep on looking, probably starting tomorrow. It's day two. Round we, two. We failed yesterday because we didn't know about all the like hidden costs of getting a place in either Kwanaku or Kurogu. So it turns out the, the prices of houses are pretty much the same all over Seoul. So instead of going for just the cheapest option on the advertisements, we're going with the neighborhoods that we actually like. So today we're going to Tangsandong, which is close to the Hanga. And if there's nothing there, then we're going to check out Shindorim too. Both of them have really good transportation options. They both have places to walk and to bike. So we're hoping for the best. We arrived at Shindorin uh, instead of Tangsan because the place we found before there was no parking. So we canceled that appointment, but we're actually going to see it later on. Um, this is one of the busiest stations in Seoul, and it'd be cool to live nearby here actually, just for convenience. We've uh, realized that a lot of the office tells have like hidden fees and all of the places that we're gonna see today were all office tells. So if we went to one of those, it'd be the same price as what we're paying right now, about 600,000 total. So there's a place in Mapo that is right now it's 480, I think, total. So for now, Eugene's really tired. <laughs> we'll head home and hope for the best. News flash. Well, <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of scams going on for sure. A lot of them say that they're like 400,000 a month, but after you add everything up, there's all these like extra person fee and like a lot of the places say they have parking, but they don't. So honestly, the housing situation isn't as good as we originally thought it was. But a few weeks back, we checked out this place in Mapo. It's a cool neighborhood kind of close to the Han River in between Hongdae and Itaewon. And the price is good for us, it fits within our budget. We're checking out the document for our place before we phone the real estate company. We're gonna phone the realtor, ask if we can check out the place one more time, and we'll film it so we can get a house tour for this video too. And then we'll sign the contract if everything works out. 
다시 보고 하고 네. 싶은데 괜찮을까요? 네, 시간 언제 될게요? 내일도 가능할까요? 네, 네, 네. 시간 괜찮다고 하시면은 네, 네. 제가 11시 정도는 같아요. 네, 감사합니다. 네. 네. 서울로 가는 중. 굉장히 happy driving in Seoul. <웃음> 굉장히 스트레스풀. <웃음> Check out the new place. balcony peranda thing we're gonna take it <laughs> let's do this so where are you going now so we just checked out the place for the final time. It was a lot cleaner than we remember. We think they cleaned it up again. But honestly, the, the size is totally fine. There's no hidden fees. The only problem might be the parking, but I think we're gonna get rid of this car anyway. So right now we're going to sign the contract and uh, feeling pretty good about this place. I feel great. <laughs> I'm, wor I'm worrying about the heat from the air condition. Oh, it'll right. be okay. But yeah, it'll be okay. Joy, that's good. Thank you. 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 Thank Super stoked right now. Our new place is literally like two minutes away from the Han River, which is insane. Like, that's. I've been wanting to live next to the Han River for the whole time I've been in Korea for eight years. So, this is the first time. Mm -hmm. Kind of dream coming true. Uh -huh. um, oh, f f crazy bastards. <laughs> Driving in Seoul sucks ass. <laughs> So probably gonna sell this car. Feeling really, really good. So right now, uh, we're moving in at the end of next week. So we're gonna start packing up our stuff. Uh, we probably won't be able to make a video while we're packing up, but once we get into the new place, we're gonna start cleaning it and kind of show, show the area and show kind of the next step of our life. Hopefully people learned a little bit through this video not to trust every realtor or every advertisement for housing in Korea. Be really careful everyone. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Do your research then, everything will be fine. So, stay tuned.